I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, we've got the High Priestess, and it's with the Six of Swords. Now the High Priestess, it can mean that you're in a phase where you'll be more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. It's also a time to rely on your intuition and any inner knowledge that you have, rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also important that you pay attention to your dreams. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it would actually be a really, really good idea when you get this High Priestess in your reading. Now, it's with the Six of Swords, which can indicate some type of movement. It could be a change in where you are inwardly, Usually, the change is for the better. It could be internal, or it could be external. It's about thinking where you want to be. There's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they probably were in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery will be helpful. And this does not have to cost money. So basically, Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, High Priestess, clarified by the Six of Swords. So what I'm getting for a lot of you is that um, it could be that you and your person had some type of argument, some disagreement, uh, maybe there was a big blow up or some type of fight, conflict. And because it's with this high priestess, now the high priestess, like I said, it's a, it's a magical, mystical time for love, if you're inter interested in that. Because with the High Priestess, you can find people actually throwing themselves at you. And you kind of go silent because you know you're sitting pretty. That's what the High Priestess can be about also. So you go silent on your person, Capricorn. So you have some big fight, some disagreement, something just... Something got ugly. Yeah, and you go silent on your person. You don't want to talk. You just, just don't, I don't want to hear it. And you just shut it down. You go silent. So, I say this was a big blow up or a fight because um, Six of Swords, if you look at the picture, Six of Swords, you see these two people in the boat or a canoe or whatever that is. It's the card below pass. They actually just got out of raging waters. So they got out of a storm. They didn't know if they were going to make it back to wherever they're trying to get to. But the waters, they, they, they finally calmed down. So there's this smooth sailing right now. But they just got out of a huge, major storm. And that was you and your person. Whether, whether it was a big fight or a big blow up. And your person really pissed you off. So you decided to just don't say nothing. I don't want to talk. That's it for now. And you go silent. You give them the silent treatment. Yeah, person made you really mad. That's the recent past energy. Let's take a look and see what we got coming up for the two of you. So we got the two of wands and it's with the chariot. Now the two of wands, 
with this card, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, simple, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. Two of Wands can also indicate a partnership with another person. This could be business, could be personal, or it could be both. It reminds us to, to stay mindful. It, re it reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if things are out of balance for you now, just know they're about to get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize. So it's with the chariot. Now the chariot actually indicates a lot of energy, but just know that this is not a free for all energy. It's actually directed, it's controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So when you get this card in a reading, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. This card, it points to determination, ambition, getting things done, Testing, improving, you've got what it takes. So it's a sign that you should move forward with, with whatever you have in your mind and in your heart. Give it your best shot. Remember though, you'll have to use both your intellect and your heart in order for it to work, in order to, for it to be truly successful. So, coming up for you, Capricorn, Two of Wands, clarified by the Chariot. So, what I'm getting here is that you could have two paths, two paths towards a future. Yeah, two options. You're trying to make a decision here. And I'm saying this because if you look at the Two of Wands, it's the card above the word present. This man, he has two wands next to him. One on the right and one on the left. Now, the one that's on the left side of where you're looking, that wand on the left, he's looking in that direction. His, his whole body is turned in that direction his eyes are focused in that direction and his ankle is tied to that wand everything is saying that he's more focused on that wand because the other one he has his back to and not paying it any attention he only has his hand tied to it and that's it so it's about it's about you trying to make a decision. Yeah, you, you, you've got two paths towards the future. Trying to figure out which way to go. But there's one path that sparks your attention in a really big way. Because if you could see the look on his face, I know you can't see the details, but he's got a, a grin on his face. He's smiling. Yeah. So, and it looks like you're ready to do it now. You just wish that you had the answer. You wish something that you wish something would happen that would just push you. And that would just make you jump and just do it and just take a leap. You want it to happen now. You've been ready yesterday. Last week you were ready. But you're stuck trying to make a decision. Yeah, it could be about your person. You're trying to make a decision. Maybe you only have your hand tied to your person who really pissed you off in the recent past. And in the other direction, maybe that's a new bright future towards a new beginning with someone else or with just a new life. Yeah. And you're ready for... You're ready to come to a conclusion, but you haven't done that yet. Yeah, so it's yeah. So we we'll move on over. That was the pet. That was the present. What's coming up? Let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. 
So we got the hangman for the challenge, and it's with this ace of cups. Now, this hangman, it shows that you could be at a crossroads. One with two option type, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is. Now, if this happens, it's a sign that you might want to stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life. To control situations, people, things. It's possible that there's an outdated attitude or a wish that you need to let go of. And I say this because any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So, all in all, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time. Especially if you're willing to look at if or how, <clears throat> if or how, you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. Now it's with the Ace of Cups, which is very powerful, positive card in the deck. It relates to love, happiness, affection. Like all the Aces, it is about new beginnings. And although this ace usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things are looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill more than usually at this time. So you should be feeling really good about life overall. Great time to make friends when you get the ace of cups. So... Your challenge hangman clarified by the Ace of Cups. So, coming up, the challenge yeah, your person that you're dealing with well, he hasn't gone anywhere or she hasn't gone anywhere because it looks like they could be reaching out to you, um, trying to make things turn around for the better. Mm -hmm. Maybe a deeper level of understanding, or maybe they might want the relationship to become committed or more committed. Any level of, well, any important aspect of a relationship, that's what they're trying to do. They could want a fresh new start with you. And yeah. Because the Ace of Cups is about matters of the heart, new beginnings. So like I said, they're still in the picture. Yeah. But you're still confused, though. You still don't know which way. You still got your hand tied to something. And your ankle tied to something else. And you're still confused. You're still stuck in your head. So there's something you need to let go of that will bring you the possibility that something or someone that you can be with will be there for you if it's a person. Yeah, or maybe let go of a particular kind of situation or relationship as being the only way you can be happy those are just some examples but there's something, something that you need to let go of because the hangman is about letting go so that you're not so stuck in your head letting go of something and it looks like because we talked about this two of wands you just need one wand and it's probably the one that you're facing. You got your ankle tied. You're looking in that direction. Your whole body language is towards that one. And looking that one right in the eye. So you probably need to let go of the one that you got your back to. And you only got your hand tied to it. Because I think that's what's causing the, you to be so confused. For so long, it's it's gone all the way to the, to the challenge. So your person, they reach out to you. They want a new fresh start. 
this person really likes you. Yeah. And with the high priestess, we talked about that card. You've gone silent on them. Yeah. This person likes you. They find you attractive. With the high priestess here. But you... Yeah. You, deep down inside, I'm getting there's still some resentment. Or you're still upset about whatever happened. Whereas... You, your person tried to get you two to come out of stormy waters. So, they want a new start with you, Capricorn. They'll be reaching out, but you're confused. You don't know which way to go. Yeah, you're ready to make a decision now, but for some reason you can't. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Page of Wands and it's with the Five of Swords. Now, the Page of Wands, they could be warm, ambitious, high achievers. Now, if this is not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So, it's about trying to stay focused. Could be some things that you started some time ago. They could start to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page brings a positive energy. But because of the easy distraction that the page also brings, you're going to make sure you have to supply the follow-through. So, it's with the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about... <clears throat> Life in general could be about a few people or your person. Don't ignore these feelings, but don't feel like you have to speak every word you're thinking and feeling either. Because that could ruin the very thing that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. So think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. Yeah, it's about picking your battles. So your outcome, Capricorn, Page of Wands, clarified by the Five of Swords. So you like I said, um, there's some new beginning that, that's trying to take place here. I'm getting it's your person reaching out to you. Because the Page of Wands can be about messages coming in. Messages of love, affection. Now your person, it could be younger than you. Because a page, when you hear that word, page, in the tarot, that means student. That means youth, immaturity, or just someone younger than you. So they're reaching out to you for this outcome. Yeah, and even though it looks like you two came out of stormy waters with the Six of Swords. Looks like you came out of it. Yeah. But it, but it looks like for the outcome, deep down inside, you're still holding on to whatever happened that that um, brought you two into conflict or a big storm, some type of stormy fight. You, yeah, the outcome, you're still holding on to it. Yeah, and a lot of times you get really mad. Yeah, because the Five of Swords is about conflict, being angry. Because if you look at the Five of Swords, it's a card below the word outcome. You see this man, he's running around with two swords in his hand. And he's got three at his, on the ground there. And he just ran into the room. There was these people sitting there near the fire. They saw him coming and they took off. They all scrammed. And those animals, they just got a, a peek at who was, who's behind them. And they're about to scram too. So, you're still pissed, Capricorn. Whatever happened, the recent past energy between you and your person, you're deep down inside, you're still holding on to it. So, your person, they offended you. You got hurt by your person. They said something you didn't like. And like I said, it put you two in stormy waters. But your person is tr really trying to bring you two out of that. And it looks like they did. 
for a little while, but the outcome is showing that you're still there deep down inside. You're still pissed about that, that experience. They're reaching out to you. They want a new fresh start with you. They got a lot of passion for you. They find you attractive. But you pretty much, you're still going silent on them. Yeah, you still, you still like, mm -mm, don't talk to me now. Leave me alone. You still, you still, deep down, you still pissed. So that's probably, it probably has a lot to do with why you cannot come up with a decision about what you want to do. It could be about what you want to do with this person. Should you stay in this connection or should you go towards a new beginning somewhere else? But you don't know yet. And But you wish you had the answer. The chariot card says, you want to know now. You want to know yesterday. But you can't make a decision. You're confused. And you're holding a grudge. Yeah. So, Capricorn, you got someone that really liked you. This Ace of Cups. So hopefully you get stuck out of you get unstuck from being in your head, and you'll make a decision soon. Cause I know that feeling of being confused and not knowing which way to go. So good luck to you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. <clears throat> so Capricorn, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in there, it's gonna pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong, take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe in the next reading will. Also keep in mind, the roles can be switched. If you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the, your other person or the, the other person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member or it could be a situation. So take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So... Capricorns, I can never say enough. Thank you so very much for watching. Thanks for my new subscribers. Thanks for my old subscribers. It's been very helpful to me. I really appreciate it. Subscribing helps my channel to grow. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.